Hey everyone, I'm a super visual learner, and if you're like me, you probably recently searched everywhere for a recent tutorial on the MPC tool for Baldur's Gate 3 and came up empty. So today I'm fixing that. We're diving straight in, no fluffs, no 5 minute intros, let's go. First things first, we want to make sure that you have Cheat Engine installed, any version that works with your game build, and of course the MPC Tool 1.5. Both links should be in the description. There's no order for this, but the first thing I did was open up my files and locate where Baldur's Gate 3 is located. Now we do have to skip the Baldur's Gate 3 launcher, so just click whichever one, the regular Baldur's Gate 3 Vulcan or the Baldur's Gate 3 DX11. Once the game's main menu booted up, press the start button and search and launch for Cheat Engine. Once Cheat Engine is open, you'll go ahead and click on this icon underneath File and click on Baldur's Gate 3 and Open. Next, you want to click on this Open Folder icon and locate wherever you place the Cheat Engine's MPC tool. Once you open the MPC tool 1.5 and Cheat Engine, it should look like this. You want to click on Enable This in Main Menu and start loading up the save file you're wanting to go into. Once we booted up our save file, we can go ahead and get started with the MPC tool itself. Ah, oh, my favorite traveling companion. Ah, uh, Starion, the perfect guinea pig for this video. So let's go back to Cheat Engine and open up the MPC tool. We're going to start with select tool functions. Okay, so we're about to proceed, but first I want to warn you, please make sure to make a new save file each time you use the MPC tool. It is very important. So in this part of the tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to shapeshift any NPC or even your companions into your tab. Now, if you were to use the first option on any of your companions, then they will pretty much have your tabs, body and face, but their own clothes. Be careful when using this on non-companions because your tab will show up naked if you were to swap with, let's say, Mazora. So for non-companion NPCs, it's best to go with the second option. So this option, you can either use your tab or any of your companions in your current party. So I'm gonna select that to start shapeshifting my character and we're gonna go down to select shapeshift rules. I'm going to be honest, I haven't tried all of the shapeshift rules, only just the first one. So we're going to click on disguise with custom look, keep name and icon. And now we're gonna scroll down to the NPC list. Now here you'll see every companion, boss, and random villager that exists in the game. So I'm going to select in quotations, our favorite blood merchant. And just like that, instant transformation. Get the hells away from me. And once you select it again to detransform, your tab or your selected companion will be back to normal. And I'm going to select it again to transform into Auntie Ethel's human disguise. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. So this option is to shapeshift your selected companion to your tab. You want to make sure that your tab is selected first and then click on this button right here. Then you're going to go back to the game and select the companion you want to transform into your tab and click on option number two. And there you have it, Astarian as my character. What's going on? Oh, my favorite traveling companion. Now it's time to up the difficulty. I'm going to show you how to transform your companion or any NPC into another NPC. Do not edit the templates. What we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to copy and then we're going to right click again and paste. We're going to use the duplicate. Never mess with the main base. This is optional but also recommended. That way you'll be able to keep in track which NPC transformation you are selecting and deselecting. So in this section of the tutorial, I'm going to transform Lazel into Mazora, namely her human form. So we're going to scroll down to the NPC list and we're going to locate Lazel's script code. Once you find Lazel, you're going to double click the script and right there where it says process function in parentheses, you'll see this code right here. You're gonna copy this, and then we're gonna head back to our Lazel to Mazora template and double click the script. Right here for target NPC, we're going to paste Lazel's code, and then we're gonna scroll back up and look for Mazora's human form. Once we locate it, we're gonna double click on script and copy her code as well. We're going to return to our template and double click on the script. Right here where it says local source appearance, we're going to paste Mazora's code. And here is the grand reveal. 
The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. And of course I'm going to deselect it and Lazelle is turned back to normal. This option allows you to put in the code for any NPC or companion and they'll transform into your tab. Now be careful when using this because some NPCs can appear as your tab naked. Just to make it quick and easy, I'm going to go ahead and use Lazelle's code from the previous template for this example and transform her into my tab. Just going to make a quick change to the description here and then I'm going to paste her code. And once I've selected, Lazelle has transformed. Speak. And now we're going to transform Lazelle back to normal. And that's pretty much it. I haven't really messed with every single option here on the Cheat Engine NPC tool. Because if you have access to Cheat Engine, you also have access to mods. You have some mods that have every kiss animation, allows you to replay modified romance scenes. Pretty much with all of that combined, you can create whatever you want alongside with the NPC tool. But thank you guys so much for sticking around watching my tutorial video. As you can tell, I was nervous making this video, but I'm glad you guys stuck around to the end. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more.